In this video, I'm going to take you through a Uniswap update to introduce token lists, a new feature to counteract fake tokens on their permissionless exchange. Welcome to Everbit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful, and if you do, then please give it a like and share. Plus, for the latest information on Uniswap, check out everybithelps.co.uk. For those of you familiar with my channel, you know that I recently created a tutorial on Uniswap version 2. However, they've since released a new feature, which I thought I'd take you through today. But first up, a little bit of information about Uniswap. So Uniswap is a decentralized exchange or a DEX, allowing users to trade any Ethereum-based token directly through a Web3 wallet, such as the likes of Metamask. Without any deposits or withdrawals required, by using liquidity pools instead of order books. And anyone can quickly swap between ETH and any ERC20 tokens or earn fees by supplying any amount of liquidity. And you can become a liquidity provider by simply depositing tokens into a smart contract and receiving pool tokens in return. And Uniswap have now introduced a new feature called Token Lists, a new standard for creating lists of reputable ERC20 tokens. And as they state here, this is a community-led initiative aimed at creating a system that distinguishes between the most trusted DeFi tokens to separate fake and scam tokens. These lists are managed in a transparent and decentralized manner through an open registry and can be used for filtering, trust scores, scam prevention, and much more. As the Ethereum ecosystem continues to evolve, there's a huge spike in the number of ERC20 tokens being issued. And as the rate of token issuance accelerates, it becomes increasingly difficult for users to filter out high quality, legitimate tokens from scams, fakes, or duplicates. In the Ethereum-based decentralized financial system, the concept of listing loses its meaning, as anyone could create an ERC20 token and transfer it to anyone else, and it will be publicly recorded on the Ethereum blockchain. So the idea is simple. Any project on Ethereum that maintains a list of ERC20 tokens hosts this list publicly on ENS, IPFS, or HTTPS, following a standard JSON schema. And projects attach their reputation to lists by hosting them on a domain that they control. For example, CoinGecko have a list on CoinGecko.com that they control. And CoinMarketCap has an ENS domain that they control Plus, these lists can also be project or category specific. So as part of the initial list, Uniswap have now introduced lists from the likes of CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, Dharma, DeFi Prime, Compound, and OneInch, to name a few. And they've also launched a homepage and a list browser at tokenlist.org, which I'm going to take you through in a moment, as well as a community forum at community.tokenlist.org. And Uniswap hopes to continue iterating and improving token lists in collaboration with the community. So let's take a look at how we can filter through a huge list of tokens with token lists. So if we head over to Uniswap and launch the app, and once you've connected up your Web3 wallet, you can go ahead to make the trade. So if we select our token from the list here, and at the bottom of the screen, You'll see now that you have this option that states Uniswap default list, which we can change. And you can then scroll through the list here. You can browse lists, or you can add a list by HTTPS, IPFS, or ENS name. So let's take a look at the browse lists. And it will then take us to their dedicated token list or org webpage, where you can view the available lists. Or you can search. And in this example, I've searched for synthetics list. And if I click onto that, and you can then view the list by name. You can view the source over on the left here. And you can copy this link as well so that you can port the list anywhere that token list is supported. And you can see when it was last updated here too. And if we click onto any of these token names here, it will then take you to the information over on Etherscan. 
Plus, for those more technical, you can also create your own list too. And you can find out more information about that over on GitHub. But heading back to Uniswap now. From here, you can select the token list that you want. And the associated tokens will then appear for you to select. So if I was to select RDN, and say for example I want to exchange 100, and I'm going to swap that for ETH. But again, you can change that token list again if you wish. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that back to the Uniswap default list. And then you'll see the estimated amount that you'll receive. And this is estimated because there can be slippage, there's some fees to pay, and also some price impacts due to movements and the size of the liquidity pool. So underneath all of this, you can see that it shows the minimum that you'll receive. And if we click onto the question mark here, you'll see that your transaction will revert if there's a large, unfavorable price movement before it's confirmed. We also have a price impact in here too, and that's the difference between the market price and the estimated price due to trade size. Plus, we have a liquidity provider fee here as well, which is at 0.3%. And we're also shown the route in here too. So as you can see here, it states that routing through these tokens resulted in the best price for our trade. So it's converted my RDN into DAI and then into wrapped ETH. And you can change that slippage percentage under your settings here. As well as the transaction deadline, which will cancel the trade if it doesn't complete within a certain time frame. Then when you're happy to go ahead with your swap, you'll need to approve initially, and that's if you've not already swapped or allowed access previously. And you'll need to pay a small amount of gas for that transaction. Then, once that's complete, you'll be able to go ahead with your swap and swap your coins. And again, you'll need to pay another gas transaction for that swap. Once that's completed, your coins will then be sent to your chosen wallet. So that's how you can exchange your tokens and select valid or approved tokens with the use of token lists. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks. And I'll see you soon.